Well, what is up guys and gals? Here we are once again in Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, still on Spyro the Dragon, uh, but I'm going to suspect that this will probably be the last video of the Spyro the Dragon uh, series, as it were. Um, and fingers crossed I've fixed my audacity problem, I've done many a thing to fix it, and uh, if it still crashes even after this session, then uh, just straight up I'm going to have to find new audio software, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, um... As you may have no noticed, uh, before we went into our intro here, um, we um, finished up the flight levels off uh, off mic, as it were. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed those. Uh, there was only, you know, this way it was only a minute thirty a piece instead of taking up a whole video of just fucking uh, me attempting them. So yeah, uh, let's get uh, going with the nasty Nork worlds with uh, Nork Cove. Oh, that's a Nork Cove. That is. They've got Ganasty Gnorks over there. In case you can't tell the joke I'm making, I'm making booby jokes! <laughs> nah, but for real though, uh, in England, or more so before now, uh, Norks used to be a slang term for boobs. I don't fucking know why. But, you know, old people are weird. Uh, <laughs> uh, as it were, I'm going to unplug my, my, my microphone. Uh, my uh, PlayStation 4 controller, it doesn't need charging right now. Uh, okay, so the trophy for this level is don't kill any rats, which basically means don't, don't, um, you know. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, off to a rollicking good start, eh? Um, what that essentially basically means is what you're going to want to do is not um, take any damage, or at least don't take too much damage because... Uh, Nothing sucks more than trying to collect gems without sparks, and you can't regen sparks without rats. They're the fodder animal for this generation, as it were. Not this generation, for this level. So how do I get that? I know, blow up the fucking TNT. How about that, you pleb? I was going to charge into it, but I took that extra second to just go, Is that a good idea? No, no it is not. Okay, good to know, me. What the? Oh, I could just probably... Nope, can't just probably... You're meant, probably meant to go over here. I've done all these fucking levels. I shouldn't be struggling this much, man. Gee, how do we kill the guy who's big and has armor? I don't know. Let's put some bullshit there. Uh, now, I will attempt to um, do this level without taking damage, just to show you it's not difficult. Uh, but I've also already got the trophy. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Um, if I miss one, I miss one. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, for lack of a better word. Oh, wow, that actually worked. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, although it says don't kill any rats, that doesn't actually mean um, you can't take damage. You can take damage, just don't kill rats. Uh, that actually even means if you really want to, you can kill yourself in this and regain all of your Sparks health. And uh, there's no consequence to that. Rescued Latif? Is there already someone called that? Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect nasty Really oh, he better be. You. I'm like two worlds away from him. Yeah, go, 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 go. Uh, oh, right, yeah, I've got to do the down thing as well. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's easy enough. Uh, I, I was really overthinking that. I completely forgot that there's also this uh, downstairs court. Uh, downstairs. Uh, down a floor quarter that I needed to do. Gee, how should I do with him? I know. Blow up his TNT barrel he's holding. Way to go, champ. He has heart underwear. That's kind of adorable. And I wish I had underwear. Uh, this is going to be a weird fucking tangent. I wish I had underwear with weird patterns on. I never... I should I should invest in, in at least one pair of wacky pants. You know? <laughs> Just the one. No need to go crazy. Not, not fucking tiger striped or zebra patterns or anything. No, just... Just one pair, maybe polka dots. Oh yeah, as I was aware of the fucking um, <laughs> uh, trophy for this level, I was paranoid about um, get. Oh okay, okay. Can, can I not blame? I can burn you. I just fucked up. I was paranoid about getting chests like that. They've got two rats next to them. It was like, oh, this will be real easy to fuck up. But then I also remembered, hey, worst case scenario, just play the fucking level again and sprint through the zone instead of fighting everything. Like, I'm fighting everything and um, uh, getting all the gems. And you can uh, you can do that without killing rats for definite. But if you know you can, you know, just do whatever the fuck you want. And, 
Oh, what am I doing? I did the same. I thought that was a fucking chain chest. It is a chain chest. Okay, how do I deal with you? Can I actually knock this? No. Lesson learned. How the fuck do I get... How the fuck do I get that? Oh, never mind. I see it. Just gotta go over there. Just gotta wait two seconds and do it backwards. Oh. Such threatening people. <laughs> they think they're all that. But they're not. That's right. I'm going full fucking Dr. Draken on your ass. Because why not? Hey, guess what? I just killed my first rat. <laughs> that null and voids the entire trophy for this zone. So you're going to have to come back and do it again later, fucker. Um, I forget, but I think there's a trophy in one of the other two games. It was either free or... Well, fucking stupid statement. So, so, what are the other two games, two or three? Yeah, well done, you feckin' idiot. Um, <laughs> there's a trophy that, uh, if you fuck up, I think you've got to do the entire game again in order to get it. But, I'm hoping that I'm just spreading missive. I'm just hope telling big lies. Big lies for a big general. Oh, hello. Well, here's an easy way to fucking deal with this. That worked out better than I could have hoped. Oop, okay, that didn't get... I assumed the TNT would kill him. I was so very wrong. How many gems are there here? 400. Okay, we're not far off. Thomas! How are you doing, Thomas? Without a H, interesting. Wow. Voice spoke Thomas, T-H-O-M. Watch it. Uh, what I mean is, I'll blow up your loot. You, you gotta believe. <laughs> wow. Spyro took that amazingly well, considering... I love how you charge their barrels and they just die. Oh, okay, well, lesson learned on that front. They explode. I didn't think they exploded from charges. That's a shame. Now, I want to point out, when I got my trophy, it was at this point that I had no sparks. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a clenched uh, situation. And eventually I got hit by something. Can't remember what. Probably one of those two guys, to be honest with you. Um, and I remember I was throwing those uh, this chest at them, and I saw those two rats, and I went, "Oh, if I've killed those two rats, I've lost out on a trip. I've got to do this level again." Like there's no lose. Like, like, like I said, there's no losing out on it. You just it just means you got to repeat, which you know is inefficient. <laughs> uh, yes, and I am going down that route of r route of. No, that's inefficient. Try not to do that. Uh, <laughs> it's just the way I am. The way I is. I don't know. Uh, now, one of these routes, can't remember which one, will um, um, take us to the... Uh... Oh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, uh, will take us to the home zone, and the other one will... You know... Um... Oh, fuck, do I know? Yeah, the other one will uh, take us to this secret route to give us some gems. There you go. That's uh, Saved by the gems. Uh, my brain is melting. I um, don't know if you can tell or not, guys, but I, um, I'm still hyped from the video I recorded earlier today. So uh, some of that's spilling over, plus my brain's catching up with what I was saying. And yeah, my, my <laughs> everything's kind of blurred and fucked up right now. Ooh, that was far riskier than it needed to be. Oh, fuck you. That should have counted. There we go. Oh, that's just fuck. Really? Oh, these guys are fucking hench. You look at them, their arms, they're like fucking Popeye levels, man. Oh, are you kidding me? And that's just death. There's no second chances there. And if we're unlucky, we might have to kill a bunch of shit again. <laughs> now that sucks. Definitely going to have to kill those two again, because I didn't pick up their gems, so... Oh, pain in the ass. So the best thing to do is to try and sort of chain these fucks, apparently. Minimise his chance of taking damage. On the bright side, there's two whole paths we don't have to take anymore. Oh, okay! Y'all saw that, right? They just fucking... What the fuck is going on? The game just broke. <laughs> the game broke and it didn't know how to fucking remedy itself. It's like, oh, I'm confused. Fine, whatever. We'll have to move on with our lives. It's just the way it is. Boom! 
And again, boom! Get fucked, builder san That's right, I went Japanese for a second there, what of it? Really? Oh, okay, I thought for a second it might have wanted me to throw it again. There you go, taking no fucking chances this time. We're missing ten, and I've got a sneaking suspicion I might have to go and backtrack to get it. Nope, we're good. Level complete. Let's let's go home and get drunk. Yeah, uh, nasty Norks world. Very very small world. Uh, we got that. We got that. Uh, we got this next world coming up. We got the nasty Nork boss fight, and then we got the bonus world. So yeah, very sm very short, very nice and easy, as it were. And of course, the gimmick has already been revealed as, hey, guess what? You uh, open it one at a time. I believe that leaves us with 75 left to get. Yep, and another dragon. We won't get the other dragon until we've beaten Nork, but it'll be easy. Easy enough to defeat. Nasty Nork's uh, fight is not incredibly difficult. In fact, I'd argue it's the easiest final boss fight out of the three original Spyro games. We won't get into PS2 and like, like... I don't know what it is about Spyro, but the three PS1 games just fucking nailed it. I've tried to do Let's Plays of the PS2 stuff. It, oh, right, I remember this gimmick. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, guns in this. And not just any guns, fast guns that are annoying as fuck to avoid. Yeah, okay, some Splatoon shit as well. Thankfully, we're getting extra lives. Like, this level's harder than Nasty Nork's boss fight, and that ain't right. Look at these Nork Commandos. You tried, buddy. You tried. Uh, the trick is speed. It really is. Like, jump in and get out. Uh, jump into the encounter, kill the Nork, and then get the fuck out. Uh, I was saying something before I said that, but yeah, my brain just went to shit. Uh, now, the trophy for this level is you've got to destroy all cogs. I don't remember all, where all of them are, and it took me like an hour to do. And this work, this zone is not very long, so <laughs> uh, you know that's embarrassing. Let me put it that way. Uh, but yeah, no, I remember what I was saying. It's just um, the PS2 games, like they tried to do new stuff, and you got to respect that for what it's worth. But at the same time, it wasn't good. It was it it was too different from what Spyro was. Like it played the same. It just it didn't feel like Spyro. And that sucks. Like, they added new mechanics, like the breath stuff. It That could have worked. I don't personally think it did work very well. But that wasn't what killed that game. What killed that game was it just... What, it didn't... It didn't gel. Oh, you're also free to just kill these fucks now. You can get as many retries as you like. In case you're wondering how you get that chest with no key, uh, there's a supercharged pad in this world. Uh, so if I said that uh, something may have been... Oh, Cosmos, that's a cool name. Uh, if I said something was um, the last uh, supercharge in the game, I super lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, kind of. Uh, I super lied because I'm pretty sure there's one in Nasty Nork's boss fight as well. I was very cocky on that one and uh, I paid for it. So, Man, the fucking range on those fucks and all. It's not fucking... They're not fucking round in this level. This is the final level before the final boss, so, you know, if you're going to go all bullshit, this is the time to do it. And it is still Spyro at the end of the day, even their bullshit's not too bad, you know. We're not talking crash levels of fucking horse shit. Oh, God. I need to go back to Crash Bad. Like, you, you guys remember not, not too long ago now, my PS4 just died and I lost, ow, <laughs> all of my saves and shit. Uh, well, Crash was amongst those, and seems like a good. Oh, there's no. Oh, I didn't go far enough to respawn them. Fuck. Uh, it's probably it's probably a good time to go back to Crash and try and actually beat that shit. You know. Fuck it. I'm just gonna charge forward and activate the next dragon. Why the fuck not? Who's gonna stop me? Absolutely no one. Oh, and I even got a full revive too. Cletus the Slack Jar Yoko. I swear this is like the fifth fucking uh, Cletus we've had in the game. Uh, yeah. yeah, what do I know? Oh, cool. And obviously you've got this here. This changes where you go when you super jump. Very useful. Took me forever to find as well in my replay. So, yeah. Uh, that's there. That's how you get all the gems. 
you know. Well, part of how you get all the gems. I'm really surprised they're not mean with their death and have those bombs blow up. Because that could have been fucking devastating, I tells you what. And you got a handle either side as well, so it's all good. Watch out for Orc Commandos. Sorry, Nork Commandos, they're not Orcs. Can't say the word Orc. Who am I fucking kidding with? Orcs are generic as fuck, so you can say whatever you want. <laughs> that's a cool feature that pro... Ah, oh, never mind. I was going to say that's a cool feature, but they ruined it by having it disappear. Also, does this not look right, like where a dragon would spawn? Or where a dragon to collect would be? Um, Alright, anyway, I need to go back up here. We need to do the... Uh, well, we need to do this backtracking now. There's no point in doing it at the end of the zone. Have I got all the dragons for this? I have. I could have sworn there was another Cletus. I oh, don't know. No, maybe I'm just making shit up. Oh, well. I'm not going to look through the fucking... Uh, all the dragons just to see if there was another Cletus. Look how far they make you run for one fucking chest, man. I don't even know how much that was. It looked like multiples of... Uh, multiple five gems, but... It's hard to tell. I, I definitely saw the colour blue. So it was at least one five gem and not just a single gem worth a fuck ton. So... Alright. Now we've got to fucking do it again, but on the bright side I don't think we've got as far to go. Uh, you know, it's been a minute, so I'm not quite sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Jump that shit! Fuck you, buddy! There we go, nice and easy. That's how the professionals do it. I think that's all the gems in this... Oh, no, wait, hang on. No, no, is there no bullshit climbing I've got to do? It doesn't actually appear to be. Cool, so all we've got to do is jump from here and get the chests over there. Well, not even chests, just free gems. Fucking 30 piss yellow gems. Uh, I believe there's a cog right there. Which the only way to get is to do this. I don't know why metal cogs burn so well. I know we're a dragon, but I didn't think dragon fire was that strong. Unless the cogs are made of wood. Or just broken down and rusty as fuck. I don't know. Where do we go, Sparks? He wants to go that way. But there's nothing there. Wait, am I missing some bull... No, I don't think I am missing some bullshit. No, my there's, that there's always that niggle in your brain that's like, wait, a spark's pointing somewhere I can't see. No, no he's not. He's just being paranoid. Oh, great, we've got more commandos to deal with. Look how the fucking range, man! Yadim! Like, at least small ones have a much uh, lower range, but those big ones are real threats. Oh, look, there's another cog just there. Like... The cogs aren't hard to see. I'm just blind as fuck. Like, if I'm looking for something in particular, guess what? I'm probably going to look at it ten times before realising it's there. It's one of those weird things where it appears that the smaller ones are actually more of a threat to me because I don't take them as seriously, I suppose. Uh, I also think their they're, they're sort of side-to-side -side arc isn't as wide, so you've got less of a window to actually jump and avoid their shit. Oh, shit. Well, now's a good time to fucking double down. I just get shot. I got shot in the buttocks. I was running. That's my Forrest Gump impression for the day. <laughs> Week, year, month. What? Alright, how many people stayed dead? That's the important question. None of them, by the looks of things. Fuck you, bandied ho. I'll piss off. Sometimes it's like, nah, that don't fucking count. Yeah, that seems to be it. He seems to fire more in a straight line than in an arc. So when I jump and come back down, the back, the jumping back down is um, where I get hit. So, uh, yeah, that seems to be how I'm fucking up that enemy. Fucking Red Beret Orcs. Sorry, Norks. Alright, real talk. My brain just mentally went back to um, uh, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts controls and I nearly pressed circle to jump like a fucking right proper pleb. Ugh, in case you can't tell what I've been playing today. <laughs> While off camera. And level complete. Great. And we're only 20 minutes in. This video might not run as super long as I thought it might. The Gnork Nexus. <laughs> Fucking Demon Souls shit right there. Touch the demon inside me, chosen undead. Yes, I know I'm mixing references. Don't get on my case about it. 
Although you probably should get on my case a little bit about it. Oh shit, need to knock my glass over. Alright, first things first, let's murder a rat. Oh, the rats are so cute. Of all the fodder animals, the rats look kind of adorable. Like, he's not even bothered, he's just like, oh, you smell cool. Will we be friends? And you're like, nah, I need the butterfly inside your belly welly. There we go. Gnasty Gnork, prepare to meet Line Doom. For I am Thor, Odin's son. Distant relative of Spyro. Apparently, because fuck it, why not? Everyone else is related to dragons. Five, there must be 500 gems in Nasty Nork's world then. I fucking hope there is. Otherwise, I've missed a level somewhere. And that's embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, and all Nasty Nork does for the first stage of the fight is just stand on a pedestal and throw magic at you while being pissed off and angry. Let's see here. Yep, 500 gems. And as long as you keep moving while you're in this wide open arena space, uh, Nork's magic shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Uh, like, it might be uh, if you're unlucky, but you have to get unlucky. Uh, if I remember rightly, we need to get two keys, so there's two thieves, so there's two different paths at the very least. Uh, I've lost track of him. Oh, okay. And I think the thief can take two different routes in each of their little things. Like, those routes always end up in the same places, but that they can split, so you can't just predict where they're going. Or at least a second... Yeah, well, okay, it's not really a split so much as it can go left or right for one turn in the room. Oh... I don't like how the key doesn't seem to be any bigger than the regular keys for, tre for the uh, treasures. Uh, you know, for Nasty Nork's little stepping stone door. Get back here! Oh wait, hang on, no, that one's for the next set of... Um, the, the next thief zone. And the one we get from the next thief is the uh, key that opens up the, um, the pedestal by Nasty Nork. By the way, 69 gems. Giggle, giggle, ha ha. Now you need to be quick when you open the door, because if you're unlucky, you'll get hit by a Nork fireball as soon as it opens. That's not really a fireball, it's straight up just magic green goo. Okay, that wasn't a step, that was actually a gentle slope, so good to know. Come back here, thief! It's not a dragon egg, but oh, okay, yeah, 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 this zone's way more uh, advanced. Uh, if you fall off, you will take damage, so uh, don't do that. You can tell it's bad goo, because it's purple goo. It's made out of Spyro's flesh and bones. I don't know if Spyro's flesh is, uh, bones are purple, but his flesh certainly is. Now, I'm not going to lie, I had a very fucked up thought for a split second there, where I'm like, I wonder what Spyro tastes like. Like, what would a dragon taste like? They're probably not very good for you, nutritiously, but... Fuck it, I'd like to try it at least once. And as soon as you fucking unlock it, Nork's like, nah, fuck that. Now, there's a lot of gems on this. Uh, what I'll honestly suggest is take it slow for the first trip so you can get all the gems. And then um, then focus on getting nasty. Because uh, it's very easy to get nasty. You only have to burn him once before he changes uh, track. Uh, which will be the final track. At least I think that's the case. It might be more than once. I don't know. It's been a while since I fought Nork. Uh, but yeah, see, look, he's miles away right now. But I'm also just walking this and stopping and getting gems. If I was charging the entire way and not trying to collect all the gems in the zone, um, I'd be right on his ass the entire time. And uh, once he gets to a certain point, he stops. Uh, in fact, here, he'll just stop. And it's like, cool. If you're on his ass, he won't have enough time to actually get away. He'll, uh, he'll be like, nope. Uh, you can just burn him straight away. And that's when you've got to be, you know. Uh, yeah, do that. Do the thing. Do the, do the thing. Cause the damage. Uh, I don't know if getting too close to him during the chase will make him take a swipe at you or not. Can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, also, I've never been so close that I've been within hitting distance of him while chasing. But yeah. See, look. He'll get here. He'll jump on his pedestal. You jump up and you burn him. Then he goes off to a different route. And uh, this one you want to do as fast as possible because platforms disappear. Just straight up. These platforms will start disappearing if you're too slow. Uh, well, not these ones. These ones don't start disappearing until you step on them, apparently. But No, here we go. See, look, if you're too slow, you're fucking dead. 
so don't fuck around. Like, I didn't even charge that, I just walked it because I didn't want to fuck up. No! Boom! I even got a skill point for not taking any damage. So that's a happy little accident right now. Yeah, burn his ass. And we got all the gems as well. So, uh, can't complain really. So that's Spyro 1 done for all intents and purposes. Uh, we've still got the hidden bonus level to do. But we've got all the gems and we've got all the dragons and we've got all the dragon eggs. I don't know if dragon eggs are part of it, but I assume they are. So yeah. I love how the interview is still here just holding the camera. Oh, that was being Spyro. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, come on. The sheep just wanted its five minutes in the sun. Uh, this is just credits. Which you can skip by pressing the circle button, I believe. I just pressed all the face buttons then, so I don't know which exact one skips it. I got suspicion it's circle. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. The adventure continues. Oh, this load to what time is being a bit long. Ah, oh, there we go. And as you can see, another dragon has spawned in, so we give him a chat. Rescued Magnus! Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hole. You're absolutely correct, Magnus. Will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Well, for what it's worth, I already have. When you have reached 100%. I think uh, eggs have to count then, because I think eggs go towards percentage. Yeah. We're now 100% complete. There's an extra 20% in it for us if we do Nasty Nork's uh, loot world, as it were. This world is entirely non-dangerous, because it's a bonus world. Um, so yeah, this is very much the victory lap. And it's a tradition they keep up in 2 and 3 as well. Uh, when you 100% 2, you get to go to the... Uh, Dragon Shores world, and when you beat three, you go to a bonus world, which is actually a bit threatening because there are very real hazards there, but it's still not too bad. But uh, essentially, you don't glide here, you fly, so you're like, oh, what do I do? Well, you do that, and boom. Uh, how high up you can fly is capped by how many gems you've got. So I've got to assume that if you come here without enough gems by glitching or something, like, there's a good possibility that you can't even uh, you know, get high enough to um, fly properly. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm unaware of even such glitch ex glitches exist. But there's got to be a way, right? There's always a way. Uh, maybe not so in this version, but in the old game, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, what do we do with thieves? We fucking murder them and take their keys. Yes, we do. Yes, yes, yes. Come on! Come on! Again, Spyro's always a little bit faster than a thief. You'll always make up ground. It's just about patience! Ah! Oh. But of course, having a little flame breath give you a bit of extra reach doesn't hurt. Uh, it, it, it's a combination of, guess what, if you're persistent you'll catch him. But if you know how to time your flame breath right, you'll also uh, get a huge advantage. Avantage, as it were. That's what I'm doing now. I'm saying words funny. What you gonna do about it, punk? There we go. And yeah, we can't go much higher than that right now. Uh, but we can open this door. In fact, it might be uh, based on what doors you've opened with keys on how high you can fly. Like, uh, oh, they can get to that point? Cool, then they can just fly that high anyway. It's the potential. That's what I reckon. So, this is how high we can fly now. Uh, it's always very good. Uh, by the way, if anyone wants to see me really get arsy uh, with this stage, go watch my final video on the original Let's Play. Uh, I got really frustrated. I was like, oh, this is meant to be a fun lap of honor. Oh, this level's so frustrating. And in hindsight, it's I was still new to recording. That video pushed an hour, and I was like, oh, this video's going to be so long. That's a pain in the ass. Now I'm like, okay, yeah, video goes over an hour. That fucking sucks, editing wise. But... Uh, there's no point in bitching about it. Just fucking grit your teeth and get on with it. Like, I watch that now and I laugh, but I also slightly go, oh, that's cringy as fuck. Ugh. It's always worse when you're the one being cringy. You know? Let's see what's down here. 
Oh, it looks like there's nothing, and this is where we're going to chase one of the flying thieves through. Oh, am I wrong? No, I do not appear to be wrong. I appear to be quite correct and on the money. Wow, this is a huge amount of flight for what is probably going to be nothing. Back me up. Did that look, look, not look like something you could have charged through? Oh, well, fuck it. What do I know? <coughs> Sorry about the cough, guys. There we go. Oh, cool. We let the plane of war out. But fuck that. Let's go up here and increase our height. Oh, you kind of got to anyway, because that's how high the flight of the plane fucking flies. Okay. Oh, where the fuck is he? Hey, where'd you go, fly plane? Fly plane. Ugh. Wow, my brain really just gave up on that one, didn't it? Hey, thief plane, where the fuck you at? You'll be forgiven for thinking that that would be hot and do damage to you. <laughs> Does look kind of toasty, doesn't it? Toasty! Oh, I missed a gem right over here. What the fuck did I hit? Oh well. And as you can see, I can now just freely fly up to this level. I, d I wanted a good opportunity to, you know, be able to show it. Okay, and now we've got the thief in our sights. I believe you fly slightly faster as well. Well, you're kind of going to have to, because you can't charge these fucks, so... There's no way of artificially increasing your um, speed uh, in the air. you just got to glide and hope you don't fucking hit nothing. That will slow you down. Which is, in general, pretty easy to do. Oh, he has a key, does he? Great. That's good, then. I'm going to assume that that key is for here. I believe there's two grand here. Yeah, there is. So, yeah. Oh, cool. And there's another key. There's a thief behind that door. Almost definitely. Oh, really? Oh, which fucking way did he go? I hope he went this way. He almost definitely went the other way through the tunnel. Wow, that fucking tunnel was long and deceptive, isn't it? You think it's quite short, but, uh, you know, it looks quite small from the in outside, but when you're inside, you're like, oh, well, this place is fucking massive. And there's not much you can do. You just fly straight and, you know, it, this is it, really. Like, there's no cheeky shortcuts you can take to, to make the fucking, you know, make uh, trick the fucking fucker and head him off at the pass and whatnot. You just got to grin and bear it, which I suppose is done deliberately. Is it just me, or does it look like he's powering it with, it with his feet? Or did they just not do a different animation, and they're just using the same animation for when it's moving while it's in the plane? <laughs> That's fucking goofy, bruh. Oh, fucking rewind it a bit and just pay attention to the thief's feet while he's in the fucking airplane. He's fucking either powering it with his legs, or they fucked up. I'm waiting for a thief to just... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, I was going to wait for a thief to just burst out. Thanks, train. Wait, is that it? Seriously? Was that just for 10 gems? Apparently so. Oh, is that extra 10 gems giving us enough power to go up an extra floor? But very potentially, very well, much wow. There we go. Okay, yeah, now we can chain these and get more gems. Okay. You see, everything's just about chaining uh, circumstances to get more gems. We're, I'm going to have to assume that at this point, the gems are what give you more height. Yeah, because now I believe, yeah, we can just straight up go home. But fuck that. Let's go here and get more treasure. Look at that. A string of 25s. More importantly... Ruin Nasty Nork's room. Let's fucking blow up the treasure chest and then we can have some fun looking at the bullshit they're putting here. Like, they might have put, uh, you know, similar jokes in the old one. But, um, it was just too low res to actually see any of the jokes. So, yeah, there you go. That's all the gems in the game. We're 120% complete. But let's look at Nork's room. He's got a picture of himself. He's got a bunch of letters with hearts on. Probably sent from himself try and make himself feel better. He's got lights that are made of gems, and he's got demotivational posters. Imagination rhymes with devastation. Confidence. There's nothing standing between you and your goal but a tiny little purple dragon. He must have made that one after he tried to do his plan. Knowledge with a G. 
is the power to turn dragons to crystal. Teamwork. In those norks who can't do it themselves. Patience is for dragons. Uh, um, yeah, and then we got even more, more of the same poster. He got bored. Practice. It's not about being the best. It's about destroying everyone else. Uh, so yeah, Nasty Nork's room is... It's, it's just goofy and fun, and it's kept behind a vault door, no entry, keep out, uh, no Spyro, specifically Spyro sticker. Ah, uh, he really hates this little dragon, I wonder why. Uh, let's return home. I wonder, I, th I think you might get an extra cutscene after returning home. In fact, you do. Look at that, the fucking Norks are getting chased by sheep, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm a movie star, baby. Oh, sheep basketball. That's cruel as fuck, ain't it? What's a minion? Never mind. That's adorable. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. And then it's just like, oh cool, do it again, fucker. I'm not going to lie, that sort of ending looks like a setup to, like, okay, this is going to be Spyro 2 we're doing. Everything's going to happen again the exact same way, but different worlds, different shit. And then they went, nah, fuck it, let's have a different set of worlds, different characters. Everything changes, you know, story-wise, anyway. Uh, Mechanic-wise, they, they kept pretty true. Oh, shit, my phone. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, Chris, bud, I'm recording. Can I re uh, ring you back? All right, see ya. Okay, well, that's awkward. Uh, <laughs> uh, thankfully, we are just wrapping up. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll uh, see you again next time. Keep yourselves safe and keep yourselves happy. As always, toodles, guys.